One of the questions we were asked is how exactly we found the first derivative of our function, specifically the trig part. All right, so what we used was the coefficient rule. And the coefficient rule allows us to take out a c, in this case c would be a constant, take it outside of the derivative, like we did right here, notice that the c is outside what we're taking the derivative of, and then just take the derivative of that f of x. So when I took f prime of theta, I took out the 1, and I took the derivative of d over d theta of theta, which is 1, minus, I took out the 2, and then I took the derivative with respect to theta of sine of theta. Well, what's the derivative of theta? Just 1. 1, so 1 times 1 is 1, minus this constant c, so this is, this 2 right here is the constant, 2 comes out, and what's the derivative of sine of theta? Just cosine theta. Cosine theta. And that's what we got. F prime of theta is equal to that. Now, one, I, I want to say one more thing. Okay. And that is, when you're, when you have a, a term that looks like this, that is a linear term, a, a thing that you could, I, I guess a shortcut that you can use is, if let's say you had theta and 2 theta or uh, 5 theta, well, the derivative for these would just be the coefficients that you have. So that's a little shortcut that you could use. The derivative for this would be 1. The derivative for this would be 2. The derivative for this would be 5. 